Hey, this is Teresa Cyrus of Track Creation for E. Today, Microsoft Designer in action. I'm going to showcase background remover and erase features. Notice that I put my um, text in there, and I always like to look at how Microsoft, um, you know, suggested text that they would like for you to input. I didn't use it. Um, I end up getting some pretty neat designs to choose from. I actually chose this one. So what I want to do is I'm going to just add my image on here because I'm going to use this as a social media post. Go to my media and I'm going to choose this image. Notice it was a one click. So you don't have to double click on it. It just entered in. I'm now going to crop my in image. always take the corners to resize it. And I don't want it to be that bright. So let's go ahead and bring this down some. That looks good. Now that all that flickering is bothering me. And so I want to create a new page. And the only way that I can get that background to um, be static is just to save um, this. Maybe I should have done that without the image, but um, let's go ahead and add a new page, go to page two. I'm going to delete that picture and I'm just going to download this as a PNG file. Okay. I am aware of that because this is an MP4. If I can just drag this file, file cannot be uploaded. Um, cannot be greater than 25 megs. That's interesting. Because the file was too large, I had to use TechSmith Snag It program to enter it in. I do know that I have the Create with Designer because this is Microsoft Designer in action. So I, I wanted to put that in there just because this is probably hurting your eyes right about now. I came across, I could not find the Microsoft Designer logo. Please, Microsoft people, don't be upset with me, but I just want to use this one as an example. And what I discovered is I can remove the background. And it did pretty good. If I had a white background, it wouldn't be a big deal. So I use the erase feature. And notice with the erase feature that I can, you know, control the size of the brush. So I can come in here and clean up some of the raw edges and I'm going to just get rid of some of that okay and hit erase object does it look good well I don't want the black background so I went on and accept um, looks good and I tried to remove the background again and it came back so that didn't work so let me show you what did work let's add it again under my media so what I discovered is if I go ahead and say blur the background, I did that first and then removed the background. It did so much better. I'm not going to worry about that in there. Um, I don't want to mess up. Now, you know, some of the feedback that I would give Microsoft would be nice to have some smooth edges and I'm sure missing my shadows around it if I wanted to create some shadows. And to create shadows, all I did was copy, paste it. I take the one in the back, go to the brightness. And I made that black. And then I just kind of overlay that over top. For now, that's how I'm getting my shadows. Hope that Microsoft brings some shadows um, to and smooth edges, right? Because that one is, is really driving me nuts. But I could not find the Microsoft Designer transparency logo. Um, I just use this as an example. Let me show you a couple, few other things. Let's go ahead and create add another page. Just gonna re remove that. I did find that the erase and remove backgrounds were really good. I went through and, you know, was just grabbing, you know, pictures just to see and just hit remove background. 
And I mean, it does really good. You know, there's no, you know, rough edges around it. It even did good with um, some graphics. A lot of the graphics I found that um, was already transparent. In this case, you can't remove background. Some of them you can and some of you cannot. A lot of the icons are already have a transparent background. You know, if you want to switch colors, you can do that as well. Well, that's all I have for you today. Now, go work your magic.